ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Thursday edition as May is beginning to wind up. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Skycam images. How about this one from our Clanton Skycam image? And certainly a beautiful sunrise this morning. Uh, perhaps just a little bit of fog visible there at the treetops. Fog very visible as we look at the Coleman Skycam. And of course the fog's patchy but has been occurring primarily uh, across northern Alabama, generally north of the I-20 corridor. And here is a look at Selma and the river rather placid this morning, kind of flat down there. Surface map shows that we do have that front finally sagged down south of Birmingham. Looks like the primary focus for showers will come to the south of the Birmingham area. Can't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower or two this afternoon, but it looks like the main threat well to our south. The ridge getting a little bit stronger as it's uh, moving a little further, a little closer to us. And that is keeping temperatures warm over much of the southern tier of the United States and through much of the central plains areas. A little closer to home, uh, you can see the little fog symbols there across uh, the northern part of the state and a little bit down in the south part as well. Uh, but primarily a lot of fog over the uh, northern part of the state and temperatures in central Alabama uh, generally around the 70 degree mark uh, with a few dipping down into the upper 60s. A little bit cooler across the Tennessee River Valley. QPF-wise, we're not expecting a lot of rain over the next five days, and uh, any rain that we do get is going to be somewhat spotty. Now, severe weather-wise, Storm Prediction Center outlooking an area with moderate risk, and they have a public severe weather outlook uh, for, once again, the Central Plains State. I tell you, those people have been having a lot of severe weather. That severe weather uh, at risk area migrates a little further east uh, across the Ohio River Valley and uh, the southern part of the Great Lakes. And then on day three, uh, it's a little harder to discern, but uh, definitely uh, the possibility of some severe weather uh, across uh, the Ohio River Valley and the uh, Tennessee River Valley as well. Now, day four through eight, uh, they're not uh, speaking of any particular spots. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a, a real quick look at something that uh, is happening, and that is the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Tropical Depression 1E, located uh, south of uh, Nicaragua uh, in the Pacific, and that is forecast to come up into uh, Central America, and that we'll be talking about on the GFS in just a moment. So let's get to the GFS, and here's the 06E model run. Uh, this is the 500 millibar forecast for today, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, it looks like the ridge is getting a little bit stronger, and that should help to suppress uh, much of our convection today. Again, can't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower, and indeed the GFS is uh, is showing that, uh, kind of along that frontal boundary that is sagged into South Alabama. The ridge gets a little bit stronger on Friday, and I think Friday will definitely be dry. I, I just don't see much chance for any showers. And the ridge begins to weaken a little bit on Saturday in response to a fairly strong short wave that is moving across the Ohio uh, and Great Lakes uh, area, the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes, and that's, of course, in response, or that's uh, where we're looking for the possibility of severe weather on day three. And you can see a surface low over uh, about uh, New York and uh, a cold front stretching down into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. Uh, that front uh, goes ahead and uh, sags on down into the area on Sunday, so I think we're going to uh, be back into the situation on Saturday and Sunday where we're going to see showers. And that situation sticks with us as it looks like the front lingers. It'll probably be very hard to find, but it certainly help to, to be a bit of a focus for showers and thunderstorms on, uh, uh, on Monday. And then Tuesday, uh, we see that the ridge is kind of pulled back to the west just a little bit. And then we notice in the Western Caribbean, uh, the GFS picking up on something down there. Now, could that be the remnants of Tropical Depression 1E? Yes, uh, I think that there's a possibility it could be. Uh, the GFS on Wednesday is now showing a bit of a closed low at 500 millibars over the western end of Cuba. And, in, and uh, underneath that, you can see a closed low 
that could be a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the, the uh, Caribbean. And that is on June the 4th. By June the 5th, uh, it has moved pretty much due north and is over the Florida Straits, uh, approaching southwest Florida. I'm sure that will not make those folks uh, very happy. And then by uh, a week from tomorrow, uh, it shows a rather uh, broad closed low over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And underneath that, we see the closed low. So it's back to the track of bringing it up through the eastern uh, Gulf of Mexico. So we'll be watching that, still not too confident about all of that. And it is on the edge of a voodoo. Speaking of voodoo, here's the 10th of June, and it looks like the ridge is back in there with uh, some showers, but not a great deal. And then uh, finally, on Friday the 13th, oh my gosh, June has a Friday the 13th. Isn't that terrible? And we see that uh, kind of a broad ridge over the area and a frontal system to the north and some showers in the Gulf. So sort of a summertime weather pattern. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Should have the next one posted here tomorrow morning between 7 and 8 a.m. Hope that you have a great Thursday and God bless.